Welcome everybody back to Does What It Likes, and today we're unboxing the Johnny Silverhand from Cyberpunk 2077, and this one is by NECA. I haven't played the game yet, but from what I can tell so far, it is a hot mess of very awesome, and then also just full of a lot of bugs. So if I do give the game a try, I'm going to wait until they smooth it out a little bit more. Another thing I'll also note is that there's two versions of this figure, one with this guitar, which is what I have, and then the other with the Malorian Arms 3516, I hope I'm saying that right. And that one seems like the cooler one. I wish I would have gotten that one instead. But let's take a look at this one. Here's a quick spin of the box. And most of what we get is this cool futuristic box with some really cool and well done punk lettering on the box. All right, you know what time it is. Next we have the figure and it's clear in a packaging. Everything you could see from the front window is exactly what you get on the inside. What I want to point out is that yet again we do get another boring black base and uh, at least this one has a logo on it but to be honest this is going straight to the trash. Then as well it's really unfortunate that this base is sort of glued into the background of this box because a lot of this stuff in the backdrop looks really cool. Alright and so starting off with accessories he has an excellent looking guitar that has a strap. Then as well, he has this rock on extra hand piece. And then lastly, it comes with this bottle drink. I really don't know what it is yet. Like I said before, I haven't played the game. All right, and so when he's all pieced together, he does look pretty cool. He wears a pair of cool guy glasses and looks super scruffy with his beard. Here we see he wears a bulletproof vest, which I love because there's a cyber Oni design on the back and that looks super cool. Then as well, he is super tatted up on his right arm, and then of course, his left arm is entirely robotic. Then lastly, we see he wears a maroon colored pair of leather pants, and then as well, his belt is made of bullets. Man, this really brings me back to the early 2000s when that look was super in, and you would see these all the time at the mall. Lastly, for the paint and sculpt, I'll just say that uh, the only thing that really bothers me is that his beard looks kind of drawn on. There isn't really any sculpt to that. Alright, so moving on to range of motion, Johnny is almost perfect. His head articulates in all the right ways. His body armor and pelvis is a soft plastic, so he can really do a nice crunch like nobody's business. His legs are double jointed at the knees, and then his right arm rotates and is also double jointed, which is awesome. And then as well, you even see that the shoulders are on a butterfly joint. Where this figure really fails is that his left robotic arm doesn't really articulate very well. The elbow isn't double jointed and it really can't bend to any degree at all. So that's really disappointing and kind of ruins the figure as a whole for my opinion. Alright, and so that's enough of all that. Here is the stop motion. By the way, this channel is now an affiliate with Hobby Link Japan. They carry Figmas, Nendroids, Scale Figures, Loot Figures, and even to my surprise, some Loot Bedroom Toys. So if you're looking to buy some waifus, then click the link down below and help support this channel so we can continue doing degenerate things. If I need your body, I'll fucking... Dick. Why do you come Welcome. In 2077, what makes someone a criminal? Getting caught. In Night City, you can become... So there he is next to Figma Major. There he is next to the Mando. There he is next to Michael Myers by NECA. There he is next to Reika from Gantz. And lastly, there he is next to the one for scale Ryoko, the bunny version. Alright, and so overall this figure is pretty cool to have. He's tatted, he's punk, he's got these cool pair of aviators on, but really a lot of that is soured by his imperfections. One is that his robotic arm is extremely unarticulated in comparison to the rest of the body. Then as well his beard is sort of just a quick paint on rather than sculpted. He also comes with only one extra hand piece. And then lastly what frustrates me the most is he doesn't come with his Malorian arms 3516. I seriously would have picked that one over this one had I known beforehand that there were two versions for this figure. The gun is just so cool and so it would have been nice to have. But anyways, if that still sounds like it's up your alley, this guy is at a great price, somewhere between 30 and 40 bucks at release. He is awesome in a lot of areas, but what he lacks in kind of ruins the whole figure. 
Otherwise, that is it for me. Please leave a like and subscribe. Comment your thoughts. Follow me in my figure collection. And I'll see you guys next time. Well, and so ends another Does What It Likes review. Hope you liked it. What'd you think, Mr. Executioner? How about you? Or you? Well, my guests seem to be a bit busy at the moment. Please consider subscribing. Follow me on Instagram, my figure collection. Like, comment, and share. And if you're really into this degeneracy, hit the bell. Dick.